Hello and welcome to live interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Kim. And you know what, Kim? What? I got here a little late. What are we What are we talking about today in our article? Well, today we're talking about another delicious、uh, food item.、Ooh. It is called crepes. Excuse me.、Mm -hmm. Crepes. Crepe. Crepe. Crayfish.、Uh, like, like little shrimp. No. Cray, cray, you cray, know. Crayfish. Crepes. Crepe. 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 Like cray, cray. C R E P E S. Crepe. Crepe. You mean French pancakes? Crepe. Yes, crepes. No crepe. Crepes. No, it's crepe. What are you talking about? What's this crepes? What are crepes? Well, we're going to. You're explain crazy. To you. What are you crazy saying? I'm crazy for crepes.、You're, What can I say? You're crazy for crepe. No, that doesn't work. Crazy、oh, for crepe. Okay. That does kind of work though. Right. That's of course the sort of English American English pronunciation crepes. But yes, French people would say crepe. You could also say crepe. Um, and you might actually want to leave the s. Well, the French people wouldn't say the s. I gotta relearn how、But、to say is, this word. It is English, and we're going to be reading about it. So I guess that's fair. Okay.、Right? We, we can. French people would say le hot dog when they wanted to talk about a hot dog. So le hot dog. Le hot dog. Yeah. So I guess we can we can switch it. But either way, le hot dog or crepes, they're delicious. And we're going to be talking about them. So stay tuned. Le, le hot dog. No, like. Crepes. Late, late crepes. Let's get to the article. Almost got you. Of the many famous French foods, crepes are among the most popular. Different types of crepes are prepared around the world. Let's look at the origin of these delicious French treats and examine their influence on food culture. As one story goes, a 13th-century housewife in Brittany, France, carelessly dropped some porridge onto a hot cooking stone in her kitchen. The lucky result was a flat, thin pancake that was made of buckwheat, the key ingredient in traditional Breton crepes. Another origin says that crepes date back to the 5th century. At that time, the Roman Pope reportedly offered crepes to French visitors. So crepes, crepes, awesome or crepe, crepes. The happy accident eaten around the world, part one. That's an interesting title. Not only, of course, we have that word that's pronounced slightly differently. Here we're going to use crepes, but they call them a happy accident. That's kind of when something goes wrong, but it turns out to be great. Well, crepes are pretty great, so I can、yeah. understand how they could be a happy accident. But where did the accident happen? Let's find out.、Yeah. Of the many famous French foods,、mm -hmm. crepes are among the most popular. Ooh, that's true. Different types of crepes are prepared around the world.、Mm. Let's look at the origin of these delicious French treats and examine their influence on food culture. Oh, Ooh,、right. lots to learn today. Yeah, I love to examine delicious food. Actually, food history can be really interesting,、mm -hmm. right? And in our two-day article, we will look very closely at. The history of this food, and when you look very closely at something, you could just use the verb to examine. Scientists will examine a, a problem or a disease to try to come up with medicines. Police might examine the scene of a crime to try to find a clue or something like that. If you have any kind of problem, you will look at it closely. You'll try to learn things. You might test it out in in different ways because you want to learn more. And by examining something, you're doing all of that. For example, we'll need more time to examine the problem, to look at it very carefully, and do a lot of research. That's right. Now we also learned that crepes、uh, have a lot of influence、mm. on other foods around the world.、Yeah. An influence is having the ability to change someone's mind or to make someone do something. So, if、mm. you watch a movie and you see this guy looks really cool and he's a police officer, he's an engineer, he's doing some kind of job, and that makes you want to do that job, you have been influenced. The verb you've gotten influence from this thing,、okay. and that makes you want to do it. So the crepes have influenced, or have been an influence on other foods around the world. Other people saw these crepes、mm -hmm. and thought, "Ooh, hoo, hoo, looks delicious!" So they tried to create their own. Now, for our example, 
Marco said that his age had no influence on his decision to get married. He's young and he's going to do it, or maybe he's 80.、Mm. But he's going to get married no matter what. Okay, and then someone might say, Are you only getting married because you're getting close to 40 and that's why? No, no, no. I really love this person. Now is the right time. My age. Didn't change things in any way. All right, so crepe invented in France in some happy accident, and of course now they've traveled all over the world. So let's see one of these stories about how crepes were a happy accident. It says, as one story goes, a 13th-century housewife in Brittany, France, carelessly dropped some porridge. Onto a hot cooking stone in her kitchen. Ah,、oh, mon Dieu! So this would be an accident. She's making porridge,、um, kind of like a chiffon, right? Kind、mm-hmm. of a thick soup, and then she dropped some of this liquid onto a stone, like the cooking surface in her kitchen. Ah,、oh, this would be a mistake. But the lucky result was a flat, thin pancake that was made of buckwheat, the key ingredient in traditional Breton crepes. So there you go. This was buckwheat porridge. Normally, you eat it kind of like a thick soup.、Mm. She dropped it on the stone. It spread out into that pancake shape. Crepes were born. A、Breton、happy accident,、yeah. indeed. Well, another origin says that crepes date back to the fifth century. So even earlier. Even earlier. At that time, the Roman Pope reportedly offered crepes to French visitors. Ah,、hmm. so maybe they are Roman and not French. Oh, and then they brought them back to France、mm-hmm. because they thought they were so delicious. Yes, very interesting. So two quite different, quite unusual, but both sort of surprising stories for the birth of the crepe. All right, let's take a break, and then we'll be back with more about this tasty French treat. <laughs> Hello， 大家好，我是 Hanny。这两天的课程呢，是要介绍一种非常受欢迎的法国食物，那就是可丽饼 （crepe）。在世界各地都可以看到不同类型的可丽饼。不过，当初这种美食是怎么被发明出来的呢？我们就跟着课文来一起看看可丽饼的起源，并且去检视它对饮食文化的影响。好，这边有两个单字 ：examine。examine 就是去仔细研究、仔细检查、检视的意思。Influence, influence， 它可以当名词或动词来表达影响。好，那我们就来听听看可丽饼由来的第一种说法，就是在十三世纪的法国布列塔尼，有一名家庭主妇啊，她不小心把她的那个麦片粥掉到厨房里面一块热热的那种烹饪石头上，然后刚好它就变成了一块荞麦制成的扁平薄薄的煎饼。然后荞麦呢，正是布列塔尼传统可丽饼的主要成分哦。好，那么补充一下 ，porridge，porridge porridge 它表示麦片粥或者是燕麦粥。那么 buckwheat，buckwheat buckwheat 表表示荞麦。另外一个起源是说啊，可丽饼可以追溯到五世纪。那据说在当时，罗马教皇呢，他们会提供可丽饼给法国的访客。好，那这个段落就有两个文法重点，那我们就进入文法时间喽。大家好，我是文法界的女神 Fashion Fanny。我刚已经叫 Hanny 去帮我买可丽饼了，好想要赶快吃哦。那我们先来看文法重点，第一个是 date， 在这边当动词来表达确定什么的日期或年代，我们就可以用 date back to 来表达追溯到某一个时间点。像你可以说 the custom dates back to medieval times， 那个习俗可以追溯到中世纪时期。再来看 offer， 它是授予动词来表达提供、给予。那这个用法就是 offer something to somebody， 或者是 offer somebody something。举例来说 ，The secretary offered me a cup of coffee。那位秘书为我提供了一杯咖啡，真谢谢他喽。好，那我们文法就先讲到这边，那我先走喽，拜拜。The word crepe means curled, from the Latin word crispa, and the food can be served in many different ways. Dessert crepes can include fruit, chocolate, or cream. By comparison, crepes that are served as light lunch or dinner meals may include ingredients such as meat, cheese, or vegetables. To contain the filling, both sweet crepes and their savory cousins are either folded into a half moon or triangle shape, or rolled up like a newspaper.
Okay, so two very interesting stories about the birth of the crepe. We're not sure which one is real, but does it matter? The food is delicious. And what about that word crepe or crepe, as the French might say? It says the word crepe means curled from the Latin word crispa, and the food can be served in many different ways. Dessert crepes can include fruit. Chocolate or cream. Yeah, those are some common ones you'll probably find for dessert. A nice、yes. sweet treat. Yes, something very、mm. sweet for dessert.、Mm. But by comparison, crepes that are served as light lunch or dinner meals may include ingredients such as meat, cheese, or vegetables. Oh, okay. Those would we we would call those savory. Yes, crates, as、right? opposed little, to the sweet dessert as ones. As opposed to sweet, and actually, they might have a different name on a menu. If you're in France, galette, G-A-L-E-T-T-E, is what they often call the savory ones with the cheese and the ham and stuff like that. Oh, you can have one for your main course and then another for dessert. That would be quite a delicious meal. All right. Anyways, let's talk about this word dessert. A dessert is basically that sweet thing you have at the end of a nice meal. You can have a piece of cake, some ice cream, some pie, something like that. It's not usually just fruit. It's probably something made with sugar. You know, a little bit of sweetness at the end of a meal. We would call that course or that、uh, dish the dessert. For example, Maria asked the waiter for the dessert menu. Mm, maybe some cheesecake for dessert. Ooh, that sounds good.、Mm. Can you put cheesecake in the crepe? Ooh, that would be.、Mm, I think we should try that.、That's、Big brain、idea. time. I'm, that's what I'm going to do yeah, next that's time. That's a good idea. Well, here we make a comparison between the sweet and the savory crepes,、mm. and a comparison is just that when you talk about one thing and another thing, see how they are similar or how they're completely different. In this case, the dessert crepes are very sweet.、Mm-hmm. The lunch ones are not because they have things like cheese and vegetables and meat, so they're savory.、Mm. So the dessert ones are sweeter than, which is what we often use to compare. Then, sweeter than the savory ones. Here's another example for you. Aaron is very tall. His brother is short by comparison. When we take Aaron and his brother. His brother is shorter than Aaron is, so that's how we can compare them. That's right. And when we want to see the way things are similar or different, two, three, four things, you would make a comparison. All right, let's get back to crepe. Now, how would we actually make them? Let's see.、Mm. To contain the filling,、mm-hmm. both sweet crepes and their savory cousins are either folded into a half moon or triangle shape. Or rolled up like a newspaper. Oh, interesting! So、yeah. you can actually make them in a slightly different way for each one, but of course, you're just trying to keep that stuff inside, make it all warm. You don't want it to Ooh, fall out, and you don't want to fall it out. And of course, it's very thin, so you can't pick it up and eat it like a pizza. You have to use a knife and fork. But folding it is a good way to keep everything contained and make it fit on your plate. By folding things, basically, we're putting something over top of itself. If you're folding things, they have to be kind of soft in some kind of way. You can't really fold a piece of metal or a piece of wood; it might break. But we're talking about clothing, for example. That's something that you probably fold quite often. A piece of paper, you would fold a piece of paper to put it in. An envelope when you're sending it somewhere,、um, and anything else that's quite soft that you want to make into a smaller size, you will basically turn it over on top of itself one time, two times, three times, four times. You will fold it. For example, Kathy folded the letter in half and put it in her pocket. Because it would be weird having a piece of paper just sticking out of your pocket. Yeah, and you don't want to like get it all into a ball. Right, it would fall out. So you fold it and make sure it goes in there. Exactly. Well, I, I like think. To- We've learned a lot about crepes.、Mm, I think I'd like to fold a couple of crepes into my stomach right now. So let's go and do that, and we'll be back tomorrow with more about this tasty French treat. Some crepes. Sounds good. See you then. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good. So, crepe bean crepe 这个字呢是来自拉丁语 crispa， 意思就是卷曲的。这个食物呢，它有甜的吃法，也有咸的吃法。像甜的可丽饼里面可能会放水果啊、巧克力或是奶油。那么相较之下，咸的可丽饼里面可能会放肉、cheese、蔬菜等等，可以当做简单的午餐或是晚餐。
。那么为了要包住这个馅料啊，可丽饼通常会折成半圆状，或者是三角形，或者是像报纸一样把它卷起来。好，麦克老师刚刚就有教我们一个发文单字哦，叫做 galette。G A L E T T E。当你去看可丽饼的 menu， 然后看到这个字，你就知道它是指咸的可丽饼了。好，那我们要描述咸的口味，你可以用到 savory 这个形容词 ，S A V O R Y。savory 就是咸味的，也可以形容是辛辣的。再来看课文单字 dessert。Dessert， 它表示甜点。Comparison，comparison comparison 是比较、对照的意思。我们常常会用 by comparison 或是 in comparison 来表达相较之下，作为对比。再来看动词 fold，fold fold 它就表示折叠、折起来的那种意思。好，那这个段落有两个文法重点，我们就进入文法时间喽。哈哈哈，我回来了。好，我们来看下一个文法重点是不定词 to 加原形动词，就表示为了什么样的目的，它可以摆在句首或者是摆在子句的后面。那记得你也可以用 in order to 加上原形动词表达哦。举例来说 ，in order to save time， they took a taxi to the airport。为了节省时间，他们搭计程车去机场。第二个重点是 both A and B 是 A 和 B 两者都怎么样？这个 A 跟 B 词性必须相同哦。那么 both A and B 在连接主词的话呢，必须搭配复数动词。举例来说 ，both Jane and her sister are YouTubers. Jane 和她的妹妹都是 YouTuber。好，那我们今天的文法就讲到这里喽。同学们记得要多多复习哦。那我们下次见了，拜拜。Of the many famous French foods, crepes are among the most popular. Different types of crepes are prepared around the world. Let's look at the origin of these delicious French treats and examine their influence on food culture. As one story goes, a 13th-century housewife in Brittany, France, carelessly dropped some porridge onto a hot cooking stone in her kitchen. The lucky result was a flat, thin pancake that was made of buckwheat. The key ingredient in traditional Breton crepes. Another origin says that crepes date back to the fifth century. At that time, the Roman Pope reportedly offered crepes to French visitors. The word crepe means curled, from the Latin word crispa, and the food can be served in many different ways. Dessert crepes can include fruit, chocolate, or cream. By comparison, crepes that are served as light lunch or dinner meals may include ingredients such as meat, cheese, or vegetables. To contain the filling, both sweet crepes and their savory cousins are either folded into a half moon or triangle shape, or rolled up like a newspaper. Hi everyone, I'm Steven. And I'm Daisy. We're gonna play a game called Guess the Bear, where each of us has three cards with three different words or phrases from the lesson. And with each of these three words, we're gonna have two sentences each. In this sentence, there's gonna be the word, but instead of saying the word, I'm gonna say the word bear. You have to guess what that word is, and you have only one minute for these three words. Okay. Are you ready? I hope so. Okay, you go first. All right. Okay. First word is, is a noun. My mom is always making bears between me and my brother. Okay, second. The speaker showed、Snacks. a bear chart of Eastern and Western food culture.、Uh, a birth chart? No, no, skip, skip. Okay, okay. All right.、Uh, this is a verb. Comparison. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. okay. okay, okay. This is Julie always bears her clothes and puts them away in her closet neatly. Folds. Okay, good. Okay, third one. Okay,、uh, this is a verb. Don't sign any contracts before bearing it carefully. And second Checking. one. Checking. Second one, the doctor bared Andy's eyes carefully. It's not checked. Don't Checking, check. don't sign any contracts before bearing it carefully. The doctor bared Andy's looking, eyes carefully. Looking, checking, examining. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, I got it. With five. Woo!、Oh. Okay, my turn. Okay. Or your turn. Okay. It's both are. It's, we're always going both、right. of us each time. Okay. Right. <laughs> we'll see how this、Ready? goes. Ready? All right. You ready? Hold on. Wait for it. 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 Okay. Okay, we're good. All right. This is a phrase. <coughs> blank, blank. The waiter, blank. The the waiter bared two cups of coffee. Bear us. 
served to, to the, us. The cook bared today's specials. Bear his customers. It's like serve, but prepared. Mm, okay, let's let's go okay, next one. Right. Okay, I like to bear after every meal. It's one word, a noun. I like to have bear after every meal. Des she is on a diet, so she's skipping bear. Dessert. Oh, uh, dessert. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, this is a noun. One word. COVID nineteen had a huge bear on the airline industry. A huge bear. I want to be a doctor due to my brother's bear. One word, a noun. The first one was effect. No, uh, effect. It's like, a, it's like an effect. Mm. What was the second sentence again? Sorry. Okay, I want to be a doctor due to my brother's bear. Uh, <laughs> uh, opinion. His, <laughs> his, um, uh, his recommendation. Uh, his, la, 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 la. his, uh, okay, the waiter bear, two cups of coffee, bear us. What was it? Okay, well, COVID-19 had a huge Influence on oh. the airline industry. That was hard. I want to be a doctor due to my brother's influence. Ugh. The next one, the one, the phrase was, it was actually offer da 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 two. Oh. So the waiter offered two cups of coffee to us. I was so close. The cook offered today's specials was to so his customers. See you next time!